Yeah, just um, I mean, congrats to Duquesne. Just disappointed. I thought we played a really good first half and uh, thought we came out as we have been just in third quarters and having too much of a lull in the first four to five minutes of the game, which ends up really costing us. So uh, we have to correct that in order to be the team we want to be, and um, and that has to start, you know, in practice tomorrow. Aliyah, for the second game in a row, you come up, come up clutch with three pointers at the end of the game. What's going through your mind there at the end when you have the ball in the three-point line, game on the line? Honestly, I'm just focused on the rim at that point, but um, focusing on making the shot and then getting a defensive stop. And coach was talking about it. you guys. You guys were up eight at one point in the second quarter. What changed in the second half for you guys that kind of cost you this game? You know, Duquesne credits them. They came out with a lot of energy, a lot of intensity. They executed their plays offensively and got stops defensively. You know, they scored I think on three straight uh, possessions, and we didn't. Uh, I think that was the difference. For either of the players, just. You guys have have seen a we've seen over the last couple of games just some scoring droughts that you guys have gone through. What what can you guys do to kind of get out of those scoring droughts? Is it is it start with defense, which it seems to be your your guys' identity? Um, I definitely think it starts with defense. I mean that that's what we stress every day in practice, um, going into games. Is defense starts our offense, and I think it, some, at times we do get away from that, and that's where we have our um, ups and downs. But um, just the third quarter is what, what we need to focus on more going into these next few games, just coming out stronger than the first half. Yeah, Coach, uh, three and four start for y'all now. How do you kind of pick this up? I know it's a tough game on Wednesday, but and then another one on uh, Saturday in Grins UNC Greensboro. How do you kind of pick up the play? What are y'all lacking right now? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I thought we played a good game yesterday. I thought we played a good first half. But you know, I, I think what's happening is we're not coming out strong in the third quarter. If you look at our history of third quarters, it's not our best quarter. We have to come out more dialed in. I don't think Duquesne did anything different. They, did, they made zero adjustments uh, on the offensive end of the floor. We just had breakdowns. You know, And to me, it's like, you, yeah, everybody's tired. We have to fight through the fatigue. And we just got to sit down and, and have a will to do it. We're capable of doing it. It's just we have the will and we have to, I don't know if that we're just comfortable. We have a little bit of a lead or, you know, rolling down three and this will just happen for us. It's like you have, it's the score is zero, zero. We can come out and you have to set a, a level of intensity that we're just not doing. And I think when we don't get stops, we go down the other end of the floor and we're trying, we're all trying to get it done just so quickly. And so we come down and we take quick shots, sometimes bad shots, and that just creates even more transition for a, a team, especially like Duquesne, who thrives in transition. So it's happening on both ends of the floor, but it's definitely not getting stops on defense. It's let allow and then allowing on the other end of the floor, let them play through the shot clock, you know. And so, but again, like you said, our identity is our rebounding, our defense, and our effort. And that I, the scoring will come; it will come. But we have to we have to decide for 40 minutes that we are gonna we are gonna um, take ownership to that third quarter. Coach uh, Oma Grosso for them was so fast. How did her speed affect your defense? I mean, she's a great player. She's the head to the body. You know, I mean, two of their guards scored uh, 47 points between the two of them. They scored 74 points. Um, we knew that you know of the we had to shut down two of the three guards um, that that really scored the ball for them. I think she got loose um, again, literally we not calling on switches, not getting hands up. We had some miscommunication just early. She had some early transition threes, which she wasn't even guarded, you know. And I think she's a very heady player. I think she's very strong-willed. She really makes them go. She just has an attitude about her, you know, and it's it's conducive to your team just kind of thriving off of that. Again, for uh, for either the players, uh, Joanne mentioned the third quarter has been historically the one that you guys have not done well. And what do you feel like is different in the third from from your vantage point? And what do you think you you change going forward? Players, question. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. You know, we talk about you know the third quarter lull that we've named it in the last couple of years, and we even focus in practice on the third part or third quarter part of our practice and try and make sure that our intensity is up and higher. So it's definitely something that's on the forefront of our minds. Um, at this point, all we have to do is focus on actually making it better, um, getting defensive stops, you know, whether we're tired or not. Um, we've got to do better.
you saw those three guards today, as you mentioned, all three of them three-year starters. You guys have recruited the backcourt pretty heavily the last couple of years. As you see those girls, is that where you can where you see this team going over the next couple of seasons? Yeah, for sure. You know, obviously we're down a guard with Amadine, you know, and she would have brought in that athleticism to us and the le length and a combo guard. So it's another guard that's in that rotation. But, you know, we, we have veterans on the team as well. You know, we just – we have to decide, you know, what we're capable – we know what we're capable. We have to decide that we are going to be true to our identity, you know. Yeah, either player. I mean, with Maryland coming up, I know it's tough to look past, especially after a loss. But how do you all kind of regroup and refocus and get ready for that game? Uh, for us, really just next play. You know, we're going to watch film on ourselves um, individually, you know, focusing on what the mistakes we made were today and focusing on practicing, uh, fixing them. And then as for Maryland, you know, our coaches do a good job letting us know and preparing us for the scout. Um, at this point, it's all on us to execute it. Thank <laughs> you.